Well, Utah City is trying to figure out what caused a rotten, putrid smell to take over the entire town this morning. Now, the stench permeated the air for miles. New specialist Lauren Steinbrecher explains what it smelled like and why it was so baffling. North Salt Lake residents noticed that smell this morning. They also noticed it here at City Hall. And in fact, employees started driving around the city just trying to figure out where it was coming from. Three, two, one, go. On a perfect fall morning, it popped up out of nowhere, <coughs> permeating <coughs> and puzzling the Foxborough neighborhood. It was just all in the air. Something Latai Kafusi yeah. couldn't it escape. Yeah, it smells like dead, rotten fish. I was thinking the worst, like, ew, it's probably like a decomposed body, like, somewhere. Yes, I, I thought maybe something had died in my backyard. Max March could tell the smell was unusual. I've smelled like the Davis sewer plant before. Um, this was not that. The strange stench drifted over to City Hall, where even police jumped on the case. Some of our police officers noticed the smell around town. I've been out and driven around t about two hours trying to locate it. It, there are pockets of the smell throughout the city and also outside of the city. The city investigated and said it's not the refinery, not the sewer plant, or any other business they checked. And it didn't matter where you went in town, you got a whiff of dead fish. From our hillsides all the way down to the the flats out by Foxborough, so it's not just isolated in one area. That's what makes it all that more mysterious. A few hours later, the winds push the putrid aroma away. Even if residents can now breathe, they can't help. I want to know what is it? But be baffled. I mean, with the concerns of this lake drying up and all that and arsenic and things at the lake bed, I didn't know what it was. So I'd like to know what it was. So the investigation here at North Salt Lake continues, but a big question remains. Will the smell come back? Lauren Steinbrecher, KSL 5 News.